Which year did you actually sign to Bad Boy? Let me see. I think it was in 19... We did Bad Boy for Life in 2000. We did we did Forever in 99, right? Puff Daddy Forever was in 99. I believe it was, it was around that time. I believe. The Forever album. I came in on the Forever album with Lil' Kim and Puff on Gangsta Shit. And then I wrote, uh, I think I wrote, uh, I think on the Forever, I wrote the PE 2000 single form. You know, um, but that's when I first got signed. Okay, so right 99, 2000. Time. Is when you, you know, got your deal with Bad Boy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, How much did you 2000. sign for? <laughs> That's something that I wouldn't know. I didn't know what I signed for. I think I might have got like maybe $25,000 or something like that. But you remember I was signed to a production deal. So the money that I was signed for would go to the production company. The production company would then give me a portion of that money that, like, if you really think about it, the artist was the production company. And I worked for the production company. You know, it was just a way, when you asked me, it's a way to, it was a way to to, to, to give, you know, like to, to do business with certain people, you know, and to pass money. It was like, you know, I, I, I was signed, but um, I was signed to a production company, but then the production company was the one that was responsible for handling my business. It makes that perfect makes sense. sense. Makes uh, sense. We both come from the music industry, so I get it. I yeah. want to make sure the audience gets it. So just for clarity, you're signed right. to a production company. The production mm-hmm. company is, the, is technically your label. Your label then signs to Bad yeah. Boy, which is the distributor for your label, for your label. Okay. Right, right. So if Puff, if Puff gave me $350,000 for a deal, which I'm sure was someone around, it was somewhere around there, I didn't see the 350. I might only, I might only saw a couple of bucks of that, maybe 20, 25, if that much. So that means that he gave the money to the production company. Production company then gave me that, okay. that portion. At best, you're saying your advance, and, then, and this is your advance in your pocket, not your recording budget, but your advance in your pocket to make sure you got money to live, money to eat, while you're recording your album was 25000 at best. At, at best. And that's that might be stretching it a little bit. It was It was real low. But at the time, the money didn't really matter. The opportunity was there. So the opportunity meant more than the money at the time. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, if I'm not getting a whole bunch to sign, I'm not really tripping off of getting a whole bunch of money up front. Because, you know, at the end of the day, you still got to pay it back anyhow. So I wasn't really tripping on getting a whole bunch of money. I just thought that being with Puff, you know what I'm saying? We're going to go put this album out. I'm going I'm to clear that money. I'm not worried about that. You know, even if... The production, if he gave the production company 350000 and then I had to recoup it as an artist. So even if he gave whoever the money goes to, the artist has to recoup that money. So we put out a video, put out a song, all of that. We got to recoup before we make money. So if he gave them $500,000, I would have to recoup that money as an artist before I would see money. So, you know, I wasn't, it's, it's just, it was a... um what I always thought about is I wasn't able to be in control over, you know, my destiny the whole time. It was always like it was in somebody else's hands. Somebody else was there to make a the decision for me, which I didn't actually like. I didn't act, I didn't like that. No. OK. I, I, I got to ask you. When you signed to the production company, those two years prior to signing the bad boy, did you have an attorney? Nah, I didn't have an attorney then. I didn't have an attorney then. Oh, hold on, hold on. You know what? It was a time, you know, who put my, Kenny Marsalis, I think, was the one who put my deal together. He might, he, I'm sure Kenny put your, lawyer, your your deal together once you signed to Bad Boy. I'm not asking that. I'm asking very specifically, when you signed to your production companies two years before even getting your deal with Bad Boy, did you have a lawyer at that point? Nope, didn't have a lawyer. 
But see, didn't have a lawyer then, but see, also, before I signed, we had just finished writing the Godzilla Come With Me song, right? That was the first song that I really kind of like wrote. And, and and it was like one of those things that was imperative that if I didn't sign, they, was, they wasn't going to release the song. Because in order for me, in order for them to release that song, I had to sign my contract. And reasons being is because um, when I signed the contract, I had to give up a certain percentage of my publishing in order to be on, you know, to be on the label or to, to, to uh, actually do the Bad Boy for Life song. So um, when I did the song, it was almost like you got to sign. You got to sign these papers because we can't release this sync until you sign. If I wouldn't have signed and then I would have just been like a free agent with a hit song. Or, or, or if you look at it like a producer who wants to produce a song for Beyonce and he don't have a production deal with the, the company that Beyonce is with, you know what I mean? It's going to be hard for him to get that, that, that deal because, you know, it's a lot of people who already have production deals, producers, that um, they have to recoup. So when they give them that advance on the production deal, they'll give them a shot at Beyonce because they know that they're going to recoup the money that they gave the, the producer. You know what I'm saying? So it's, you know, situation, something similar to okay, that. Okay, I right want to make there. sure I'm understanding this. You know. So please bear with me. I'm going to go backwards. Earlier in the conversation, you said okay. before you got your deal with Bad Boy, you were signed to a production company for two years. Do I have that correct? I wouldn't say two years. We wasn't signed. We was in the we was making. That means like we didn't have no. I wasn't an artist, so I didn't. Nobody signed me. I was gonna be my own man. I'm my own artist. I'm Mark Curry. I'm a label. You know, I wasn't gonna sign a deal with nobody. We was gonna go right on into Jive or something like that and discuss business and just get a deal like that. We did, we wasn't intentionally. I we wasn't trying. You to You say sign we? Nobody. Are you talking about right? you and your rap partner, or you and Mac, the production company? Um, which was actually me and D1. We was the original production company. And then Mac happened to be um, one's friend. So then he was Puff's friend. So he's the one that carried the project to Puff. Me and D1 was just straight doing Checkmate checkmate Records okay. out of Los Angeles. And then we, yeah, instead of going forward with the trying to, you know, do the, the uh, indie, then we okay. signed with Puff. We was like, let's not do Mark, it. Mark, again, Puff. for the sake, because this this is a this is a conversation that I want it to be extremely factual. Okay? I want it to be factual for mm -hmm. you, and I want it to be factual for me and our audience. So are you, right. again for clarity. You and your rap partner D1, you and your rap partner D1 are doing what you guys do as artists. You hook up with Mac. You sign that contract with Mac, who essentially is your production company, prior to your production company signing with Bad Boy. My, my question is, excuse me? I'll say it happened simultaneously. Okay. In order for me to sign, yeah, in order for me to sign the bad boy, I had to sign the production deal. I didn't have a production company or deal in place, but in order for bad boy to sign me, it was very essential that I sign okay. my production deal contract. So it happened between one, two, three. So as soon as I signed the production deal, Puff then had the contract. It was almost I was signed the bad boy, but I was signed through the production company. It was the same, like the same okay. two days. It makes total sense now. It so makes soon, total sense. Earlier, you yeah, said that yeah, you were yeah. with, it took you two years to get your deal with Bad Boy. And that's where my question was. But before we move the conversation on, I asked you very specifically, did you have a lawyer represent you before you signed that production company? You said no. Am I clear? No. No. Very. No. And then also when I signed the production deal that I did sign, Kenny Marsalis was the acting lawyer. So I, I Kenny Marsalis was the one that it, it was it was almost like a conflict of interest, if you really want to understand what I'm saying. Cause Kenny Marsalis was the one that was giving me the paperwork and he also was old boy's um 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 lawyer as well. So when I that bad boy for when we did come with me, 
if I had to sign, they they wanted to make sure I definitely had my contract signed. Because if not, then they wouldn't have been able to get a piece of that publishing. So, you know, when I signed, that when you signed the deal, you're saying, okay, I'm going to give up X amount of my publishing to sign with this company, and this is how much of an advance you get for it, right? Okay. So in order for me to, when I was doing that song, in order for them to even release that song, they was making sure that I signed that contract. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.